my name is Design Ghost and welcome to my YouTube space where we learn everything design. So if this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get notified anytime we post a video. So in this part of the video, we are going to learn about how to apply Cinema 4D Studio Default Light where you can get it from any search engine or google or any search engine or you can also join my telegram page to download it i have uploaded it on my telegram page so you can get it from that place too so we are going to learn how to apply these settings and as well as how i do my render settings for testing cinema 4d so let's get into the video so once you are you have your test set up you first you first of all bring in your cinema 4d studio light so you have to merge files merge and you choose cinema 4d studio light okay so when you download the file it's a zip file so you have to extract it to have the cinema 4d studio light as well as the cinema 4d messy mat right? that is the default materials so in this tutorial in this part of the tutorial we are going to need the cinema 4d studio lights only so you select that one you choose close and you have it so the cinema 4d studio light comes with a soft box an overhead soft box and a floor light a floor and a background so let's go off camera mode and let's see what we've got okay so this is our overhead softbox this is our softbox and this is our overhead softbox so we are going to position it to suit our test where our test is positioned so that you can have the maximum effect on the test so we are going to hit the e key for the move to and then Okay, sorry. So the anchor is on, so we selected to be able to move it. Okay, so with this opportunity, let me let me use this opportunity to explain the enable access tool. So what it does is sometimes your anchor is not at the position where you want it to be. So in order to change the anchor without moving the object as this one is moving you need to select the enable axis and then you can now position the anchor maybe in the middle of the object or wherever you want to put it then you you click to deselect it and now you can move it in addition with the object or whichever object it is okay so let's place the soft box also so hold out Okay, so we are done with um, studio light but here we would also need let's see let's see let's see okay let me push this back we will not be needing our floor and background so we have to take it off because we want a transparent background and we'll come to our we'll edit render settings that will select so we've just begun the render settings so here we come to effects and then we'll add uh, okay so it's added already but normally so let me delete it normally it's not added so when you come you have it this way so you come to effects as a default 
when you open yours it will, it will not have it will be like this it will not have the previous settings that i had so you come to effects and then you add global illumination and the global illumination normally for my test i i select a preset for it which is i use the object visualization which is the high and then again i come back to effects and then i add an ambient occlusion okay and i come back to output then i make by default your resolution should be 75 so normally i make my resolution 150 and uh, i come back to save and then i choose wherever i want to save this file to so you select this dot here and then you are going to choose wherever that you want to the file to go to and you give it a name and you select the format we have all sorts of formats here we have jpeg we have png we have tiff we have whatever psd and so on so you select so normally i choose png and i make sure i check the alpha channel this is going to ensure that you have a transparent rendered test okay so if you don't select the alpha channel after rendering it is going to give it a default background of black all right so you need to choose or you need to check the box of alpha channel to make sure that when your test is rendered you are going to have a transparent background okay so from here you are all set to go and then you can click your render to picture view or you can select the you can select um, the shortcut key ctrl r okay to begin so you can have a bit preview of what you want here the render settings will determine how fast your machine is unfortunately my machine is not that fast so so you realize that your test will begin to render so this is an internal preview of what your test is going to look like so most of the time I render it this way to look at how the test is going to appear then I can make the final render but some people would not want it this way they will just want it to preview in the render mode so whichever way that you want so as soon as it's done and then it suits them then they just export it straight away but this is what I do I render and then I have a look at what is going to look like when it's the final rendering is done so we can all see and then fast forward without not wasting too much of your time i'll just stop it and then do the final render so we have yes and then okay and then we have your preview so i'll be back with the final pre render of the test
your settings and then you can make changes to your settings you can tweak it a little bit and you come back to render it again so from here you can select right click and then you can go to save us and then still image png okay and then you save it to wherever you want to save it so this is what the video was meant for today and i hope you learned something out of it if this is your first time on this channel make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell to get notified anytime we post a video see you in the next one i'm out